Hello lovely ones, this is Natalia and I'm going live on a Sunday. I normally do my live angel readings for the week on a Monday but I am going to be driving over to Liverpool to drop my daughter off at university so I thought I would go live today and then you don't miss out on the angel messages and I thought I'd try and go live as early as I can and maybe catch some of you guys who are over in Australia, New Zealand um, over in Singapore, that side of the world, over in the Southern Hemisphere and then of course all my lovely friends and followers in Canada and America. Hopefully this is a decent time for you and you guys in the UK, maybe you've had your Sunday lunch, maybe you're cooking your Sunday roast right now. But anyway, welcome. It's lovely to see you. So I've just explained I'm going live early today. Uh, because I'm not going to be around tomorrow morning and I didn't want you to miss out so I just wanted to pop on do a little bit of a quicker weekly reading for you I've got my angel cards with me I have the angel tarot that we're going to be looking at the messages for the week and do you like my new candle holder isn't it beautiful I just got back from Paris I went there for the weekend with my friend we just had a, a last we've had a fantastic time and uh, I came across a Christmas market in the um, Tuileries uh, Park and this was one of the things that was on a, one of the stalls selling these amazing things so before I start uh, doing our weekly reading with our angel messages and then I've got our interactive reading there for you I'm just going to say hi to everyone Patricia Veloso, thank you. I love your hair. Your hair looks fantastic. And um, Robin Steele, Lorraine Robinson, how was your holiday, my love? Linda Biles, oh, you're so busy on a Monday, so this is perfect for you. Oh, brilliant. And you're in PJ sorting clutter. That sounds like the best kind of a day. Erica Gonzalez, good morning. You are catching me live, my love. I'm so glad that you managed to be here. Michelle Mentzer, good morning. Ha oh, good afternoon, should I say, but it's good morning where you are, isn't it? Good morning, Anna. Good morning to Janet Cresswell. Let's see who else is here. Robin Steele. Hello, darling. Uh, Sheila Hamilton. Hello. Good afternoon to Colleen Croy. It's the first time you caught me live. Well, wow, that's brilliant. And Hazel Kings is here. Carrie, is it, how do I pronounce your name? Is it Moose? Moose? Carrie? Anyway, good morning. And hello to Shell Javat. It's not morning, is it? It's because I got up really late. It's afternoon. Sarah Bolchin's here. Hello, darling. Who else? Who else? Lucy Black Blackster. <laughs> Colleen Ann is here. Angela Davis. And Ashling Murphy's here. Linda Gibbs. Brain Corin and Muse, Carrie Muse. Thank you for sorting that out because I have wondered how you pronounce your name. Jay Not is here. Hello Jay, Angela's here, oh, I'm so happy you could join too. And Kim Clark, it's not the normal day, you are right, I'm here early, I'm here early. So let's have a look and see what our weekly messages are. So I'm a, I'm a kind of three quarters of a day early because I won't be here tomorrow morning, I didn't want you to miss out, I'm just going to turn the light on so we can see that better. Oh yes, so Janet, my moon is gorgeous isn't it? I just bought that in Paris. I've had the best time in Paris. And you've got to get a little keepsake, haven't you? Something to remind you of special times. Anywhere you go, it doesn't matter. It's uh, it's really nice to do that. And especially something like that because it was very unusual. And no me and my tea lights and all my, my props that I like to have for, for doing our cards of the day. So how are you all doing? Have you had a good week? I hope so. So let us have a look and see what is coming up on this beautiful new week. Now I'm completely off with my dates. So I don't know, is it the 20th tomorrow? So week commence in the 20th, I think it is. I'm sure you'll put me right if it's not. And um, so as we go into this new week, we're still in Mercury retrograde. Mercury's still sleepy. It's waking up from its, from its, um, it's retrograde cycle. It's going to be um, pretty much slowed down until the end of November. So we've got another week or 10 days of this. So I hope Mercury hasn't been affecting you too much. And the advice to you, oh, it's the 18th, Kim. Thank you. 
So the advice to you, if you uh, are feeling the effects of Mercury retrograde light right now, if you're trying to push through with things and the universe is pushing right back at you, I've heard and, and read all kinds of interesting stories about people having delays, things getting cancelled, things getting re-jigged um, and people's electronic goods getting broken. I was traveling and I had a lot of different connections to make when I was going to Paris because I went on Eurostar and I was really fretting inside thinking, I hope Mercury retrograde doesn't play havoc with it. And you know, it was seamless. So I was very lucky. So I thank the, the angels for that. But um, so this card represents a sleeping unicorn and then these are the unicorns protecting it, watching over it. And what I would say to you and to all of us, this message is very much saying, that if things are on hold, if pause has been pressed, then honour that pausing, honour that stillness, because there are certain times when we just cannot push ahead with things, there are certain things that we want to achieve, there are certain things that we want to see manifest in our lives, and the universe is saying no, wait, and you'll see in the fullness of time, but then we become a bit toddler-like, don't we, we become really kind of insolent and go I just want it now because I'm feeling like I want it now I'm feeling like I'm ready for it and the universe is going no hold on you're not ready so if any delays have been occurring for you in any way if you've been pushed back if things have been put on hold then you're being told to just meditate being told to use this time wisely to go over things just to ruminate on things if you've got important decisions to make then wait before you make them and you know that maybe some of the answers maybe you, you need to um get your own you know if you've got a deck of oracle cards if you've got angel cards you've got tarot cards give them a shuffle just hold them in your hands for a while and then just say what is the reason for this what is the lesson what's the blessing within the hold up the delay maybe the turnaround you know something was supposed to be happening and then somebody said no i don't want to do that anymore that you Sometimes I, I find it easier if I can understand why, what is the rationale from the universe behind that. So that's saying to you, slow down, don't try and speed anything along that's not going. And usually you know, you know when you're pushing and the universe is pushing back even harder against you and you, the force of that energy is never going to, you're never going to be able to, to uh, defeat it. So um, if you can't beat them, join them. That's what I say and that's what this card is saying here today as well. So that, that's the first half of the week, it's slow progress, waiting for divine timing, meditating, ruminating upon the reasons why the blessing, blessings within the lessons, and just taking a rest as well, you know, maybe you can take some time off, uh, maybe you can pace yourself while making a decision, and then the second half of the week, this is where we can move forward and we can see some more tangible results. Um, so... This is a, for all of us, Dermot, a message for all of us for the second half of next week. And this is about, you know, you can depend upon things starting to be generated and boosted for you, particularly anything that needs to come down to earth, any earthly related things like money coming in, like an email, a phone call, a letter that you were waiting for, giving you kind of peace of mind and security so she's got something in her hand there. She's got something to hold on to. That's very much what the page of earth is about. Pages are messengers. The earth is about things that are tangible, things that we can get our hands around, that we can see, that we can feel, we can touch, we can literally know, be secure about. And also this is saying, you know, if you want to do something more challenging if you want to stretch yourself and push yourself out of your comfort zone by signing up for a new course of study or doing some research maybe trying out interviewing for a job that's a higher kind of level or has more responsibility than what you're already doing if you want to take on more then the second half of the week I would say from Wednesday Thursday onwards next week is a really good time to do that to start to to tighten the screws in your life and start to see things uh, becoming more real for you. So the first half of the week is all about just sleeping on things, thinking them over, 
um, really, really being thoughtful and allowing whatever is to to be. And then the the second part of the week is is about the stretch. It's about the the comfort, the the tangible, the um, the message that all is okay, all is well. You're going to get the movement. It's going to be slow though. Earth energy uh, never rushes. It's not like fire or air energy. It's it's very grounding and um, and helps us feel as though we can depend on it because this is all about dependability. So whatever you hear about, you know that it's coming off. It's it's coming to to fruition. So what is our word of the week? So we've got my little power word cards. So I'll draw one of those. Hello there, good morning Veronica. Hello to Andrea Mexkimi and Selena Walker. Is there anyone I've missed? I don't like to miss people if you're live. Kim Clark and Geraldine McGee. Sharon Kopsiak, hello, hello loves. So our word of the week is balance. Oh yes. Now that is really lovely because we've got the balance between air and earth. So number four is, is very much about balance. For some reason I've pulled out my raggedy old angel tarot deck. I've got a brand new one that I use for my readings and then I've got for my for my live readings for my videos. And then I've got a raggedy old deck that I use for my personal readings and I seem to have pulled the raggedy ones, but hey cares they're, they're still beautiful so this is all about the balance between um, giving your mind a rest giving yourself a, a bit of a day off from worrying about things just letting them be letting the universe take the wheel of, of the car of your life as it were the reins of your life and then being able to see something coming through some kind of message some kind of guidance and wisdom about how to proceed that is going to give you the groundedness, the, the surety and security that you're looking for. And that's the beautiful balance between those two. You are able to say, I'm going to be in balance. I'm not going to push. I'm just going to allow what is to be. So I think it's going to be it's safe to say it's going to be quite a, a calm and tranquil week. One where we make progress, but in those very subtle shifts you know where it's we're inching along we hardly notice and then by the time we get to the end of the year we realize that this was quite a significant time because we allowed and we accepted so i would like you now to choose your own personal message for this week what is it that universe your angels your guides want you to know what's the important message and um, we've got one two or three i'm also going to pull you one of my new angel cards, oracle cards, and um, let me just shuffle them, pull one for you, let's have that one, we'll have that one, and we'll have that one. Okay, so by the way, I have a new, um, a couple of new workshops coming up, how to develop your psychic skills, your powerful intuition. I highly recommend doing both courses at the same time, both classes, because they will one will inform another, really helpful. So it's about how to develop wonderful psychic, intuitive skills that are laying dormant within you. Everyone's got them. And so different ways that you can divine angelic inspiration, that you can use a pendulum, that you can use dice, that you can um, find out which of your clair senses um, psychic skills is most powerful within you and how to develop the others there's eight of them so we're going to be looking at all of that so that's the psychic skills workshop um, online it's a video workshop that you learn at your own pace and they're launching in January first for the very first week in January and how to create your own angel cards you, um, oracle cards so these are some of mine there's that one um, so we'll be I'll be showing you all of the paint techniques, how, how to actually come up with the prompts, how to journal, how to create um, some beautiful cards that you can use for your own personal psychic development and you could even use them to read for other people, you know. There's nothing nicer than having your own deck, is that? It's absolutely amazing. 
Um, and it's so um, inspiring and fulfilling as well to do that, to, to create, to, to use your hands and your, your heart and your mind to, to make something. It's very, very special. So that's what those two classes are. And there's a super early bird at the moment. I've just launched the, um, put the link to the website there for you. If you'd like to, to join in, half the places for that super early bird have gone, so get quick and order your place if you want to, to join in. So your card, if you chose number one, is all about change and the change that the universe and the angels want to see you becoming your beautiful butterfly that you are is to magnify the beauty within you to see the beauty magnified within your life so do you look around you and do you see the beauty that is the message for you here there's beauty everywhere to be found in hidden corners now how can you make your own world a better place how can you unfurl those wings of yours? Because you know you came out of the cocoon a long time ago. And some of this is about accepting that change, this message here. Maybe you're still in this mode, you know, where you're just not quite accepting who you are, who you've become. The fact that, you know, when you meet people, you can meet up with people who haven't seen you for ages and they think you're still the same person and you've grown since last week, let alone last year, 10 years ago. Um, so you, you're constantly evolving and changing and growing and it's about you accepting the beauty within you and magnifying that, radiating it outwards to make the world a better place. How can you do that? Because you have so many possibilities and your angels want you to see that. I'll come back to your second message in a moment. So that's uh, number one. If you chose number two, then your message is, oh, do you know what? This is my favourite card. <laughs> Should I have a favorite in my own deck? This is my favorite. And it's so powerful. It's like the, the wisdom of the bear, the mother energy, okay? This mother bear. So she is such a, a powerful figure. You know, when we think about maternal energy, we think, oh, you know, maybe mommy standing in the kitchen cooking or baking or she's doing the laundry or she's... You know, she's being all cute and she's cuddling you and everything. But the ferocity of the mother in the wild, you know, if you ever see um, the mother um, trying to protect her babies, the animals in the wild, they are so ferocious, they will literally rip your throat out if you go near their kids. And that's the power of protect whatever it is that you've created whoever you are, whatever you're becoming. It's about, you are magical, you're powerful, you are bold. You have that ability to be fearless and you know like, this comes out of the mother bear when she's, when her babies are threatened. So she had that power all along and she, it's kind of like she didn't use it until it really push came to shove, you know, until the, the she was really, up against it and then she comes out fighting and this is you whatever's going on in your life right now you have this power that the access to it you're the wearing the star around your neck and yeah you're gentle and you're lovely and you but you also are so flipping I said flipping <laughs> I don't swear powerful and you've got this okay be that mother bear um, protecting whatever it is that you need to protect in your life because hold on to it it's yours you've worked for it and, and you know you shall have it this is your your power it's time to step into that if you chose number three then my message for you is there is again this thing about what's the valuable lesson within anything that's making you stay on hold anything that's frozen, anything that you're waiting on, anything that you're being asked to be balanced around. There's a really valuable lesson within it. And the thing that you've got to watch out for is what are you afraid of? So this is almost like, this is power, it's like an atom, you know, or the ripple effect of the, um, the catalyst. What, what was the catalyst that was teaching you this lesson? And it may feel uncomfortable, it may feel like, you know, red is all about the root chakra, it's like our sense of belonging is disrupted in some way, our sense of peace, our stability is disrupted. 
But it's like the universe wants to teach you a really valuable lesson to make you face your fears, push you out of your comfort zone, make you change shape so that you can become bigger than you are. If you're leading a really small life, the universe wants to push you beyond that because there's so much to still to explore and there's so many things that you are to become and it's waiting for you out there beyond beyond this this um, sense of fear so face your fears learn your lessons and you can discover the it's like the universe is yours my loves okay big big card for you big message so if you chose number one your second message is sharing of yourself I'm an incredibly generous being now that goes beautifully and look they've got the same colors isn't that interesting I just chose these randomly I didn't look at them so this is saying you know share yourself my loves so share that beauty you can make the world a better place you've you've got the capability you've got the capacity to be anything you want to be and you already are spectacular spread those wings of yours and share 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 why does that begin for you what triggers in your mind about what it is that you you have to do next okay that next step to share of yourself with the world that generosity of spirit because you are becoming and you have a lot of beauty and you've got this ability to shine so just go do it <laughs> there's an awful lot of um there's an awful lot of commonality between these messages they're very kind of similar and they've got their own take on things but there seems to be this thing about personal power stepping beyond that feeling of I can't I shouldn't I must okay it's like that continuum of those thoughts and how they evolve in your mind if you chose number two accepting what is I accept and embrace my inner majesty look at that so it's tending to that rose cupping it in in it in her hands or his hands whoever's hands these are allowing that to bloom and to open to that look almost looks like an eye in the center doesn't it accepting what is you're powerful you're magical you're bold you are the mother you have this mother energy and you can nurture the mother has the nurturing energy she's got this this ferocious you know, protective energy and she's powerful in so many ways um, and that is you my love that that's your power your superpower and then your message is receiving from angels shimmering wings of angels embrace me with love so whatever's scary whatever feels like it's pushing you to the to the forefront of your fears that's making you tremble with the anticipation of what is about to come these amazing lessons that you're learning the fears that you're facing up to that are pushing you into this whole other level of of depth and strength and possibility and your angels are wrapping their wings around you and protecting you and holding you as you make those those steps forward so that is our gorgeous um, set of messages for today I hope you've enjoyed them um, if you're watching the replay thank you so much for, for tuning in and um, it doesn't matter when you watch this because the message is always going to find you when you need it most um, so ruminate on it think about it and most of all, I'm wishing you an absolutely gorgeous week. Thank you to all of those who've already signed up for my workshop, my two online workshops. I've just dropped the link in the comments. And Fiona was asking me if he's a bit short of money at the moment and will I be running them again? Yes, of course I will. Um, but if you want to, you know, step straight into this and get doing it, there's no better time than as we go into a new year and a new decade. And um, it's just exciting to uh, to get involved with something creative and intuitive, isn't it? So take care, my loves. Have a wonderful week. Thank you so much. And lots of love and angel blessings to you all. <laughs>